hello welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be talking about the AMBCAs I'm going to be giving you my reactions on all the looks not all the looks but like some of my favorite looks and some of my least favorite looks okay Oriki Goddess next is Oriki Goddess like I'm trying to understand why she went all kung fu on me like you show up at the AMBCA now the AMBCA is supposed to be like the Met Gala meets the Oscars for African film like a black tie event basically and I don't even I'm not sure what the theme was of the event but I'm pretty sure it wasn't kung fu fighting but it was kung fu Not loving this next so lucky now I love her hair her hair is gorgeous I love the makeup the makeup is beautiful it's simple it's fresh her skin is looking nice and glowing I love I love the dress apart from this thing this part this cape looking thing here I'm not even I'm not for that extra material that's just coming there I feel like it was just unnecessary I think it was supposed to give the outfit a little bit more edge but I don't know it just kind of like it it removes from the wow factor of the dress I thought for, in my opinion I don't know I don't I feel like the extra material is not necessary but I still love the, the, I love the dress. The dress is so elegant. I like the material in general. I love the cuts here. It's making her shoulders look nice. I really like the detail. The little. I also like the beading on the waistline. I like that it cinches her waist in and gives her like a nice curve. So she's really looking good. Her body's looking nice in this outfit, especially if you go up close. And I like the leg that she's showing. Like I like that little slit there. Like, ooh, hunty, honey, 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 honey. Like that slit. I really like the show. I really like the legs are uh, popping. You know, it's a peekaboo. I like that little peekaboo there. So yeah, she really, she really looks really nice. Save for that extra material, I wasn't really feeling that extra material. So. Inidima Okoje looks really beautiful. I love the dress. It was cut to hat, cut to fit, or made to cut. <laughs> How they say? I love the dress. It was so beautiful, and her hair. Those clippings, you know, like on the side. Her hair was beautifully styled. I didn't expect anything short, so she always looks really nice. So next person is Lily Afe. Mm. I like to call her risky Lily because what she wore was ugh it was so risque she has a perfect she has a beautiful body so why not show it off to the world like I'm not mad at this like she's a thick curvy woman like I love 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 her body in this dress she killed it and I love the detail on the dress like it was just so like I'm Nigerian designers are just vexing like anyhow like everybody is like paying attention to little details like the embroidery like everything like the way the way it's attached to her body it's almost like the dress the dress is definitely not wearing her she's wearing this dress and she's wearing it with confidence i love her makeup she was glowing her hair was on point that purse although i kind of wish her hair was up instead of down her hair was up instead of down i don't know to me my preference maybe if her hair was up it would have looked a little bit more shh but yeah it still went with the whole outfit so for the AMVCA Motala wore like two outfits not like she wore two outfits and both black and I must say the first outfit that she wore I liked it I like that you know I like the the bottom part of it like it was really nice I like it the second outfit was just I don't know, it's just like... It wasn't... She, she's a woman with curves, so it wasn't entirely flattering on her body. Sass, ugh, that girl! I don't know if I've seen her on her bad day, but... That girl, like, she is a MILF! She's a MILF! 
It's like a freaking MILF. She's too much. Too much. So on point. So I love, love the entire outfit. I love her dress. Like, I just like how, like, you know, like, it's interesting. There's a big bow, but it's necessary because the bow just comes, it's like music. Like, her, her dress is like music. Like, there's, like, it's flowing. You know, everything is just flowing. So there's a big bow here. So the big bow comes down over here. And then they're, like, deep cuts as well to show you that her boobs are perky. You know? I'm a MILF, but I, I have a lot of... Just show you that her boobs are perky and nice. And then there's like... It just comes like an A line. And then it cinches, sits well on her waist. To tell you that, you know, my waist is too small. I may be a mama, but my waist is tiny and I have curves. So now it comes and it spreads. And then there's now like a peplum to hide any excess. And a double peplum here but like it's just on one side and it's interesting and then it flaps down and then you now see like legs like it opens up ah oh, this dress was a slip like it was a slip and not the color don't talk about the color the color is like it's now goes well with her skin tone like it was just beautiful and then the updo the hair the makeup the accessories i mean like she came to kill it like i'm really loving her style i love it i love it. sharon i mean that girl does no wrong like she's always slaying every award show that she goes for she just like she's a queen she's, she just slays perfect body Skin was glowing, looking fresh, hair was popping. Like I love the whole, like the gathers. But yeah, she looks fantastic. I really love what she was wearing. On next to Faith Williams. What are you wearing, please? Like, is this what is this? Is this like African prince or dashiki or like what? Like, were you adding that silver? Like, I don't understand this dress. It's too it's too technical for me like you try to do stuff too much when you try to go back do things and you feel like okay i want to do this badass dress ends up looking ridiculous at the end of the day less is more don't try to overdo it and have like okay let me not talk too much and deviate from the point my point is what the hell is she wearing i'm gonna say she looks like mary poppins but with this dress all i can say is she gets a nay like no no this, look at the girls like this is the this is how you wear whites to the AMVCAs. like this guy wore white but he looked like fresh prince of fucking bel-air like see how i really love his outfits like i love the detail on the suit and the pants you know the nice shoes he was looking fresh he was looking like an you're about angel you're about guys don't have to be demons all the time Oh my god, did you guys see what CC? Now CC from the CC from the Big Brother house is killing it these days. I mean like she was made for fame. Like this was this is her calling. This was this was her calling all along. I said, you know what? It's my time. Let me take the bull by the horn and give these people a run for their money. Cece, you already gave me a run for my money. I mean, like, I love you, I love you, I love you. I didn't, I didn't love you before I, on Big Brother, but I love you now. You're, you, you were made for this. Like, you get a slay 100 times. I don't care what anyone has to say. This dress was beautiful. You killed it a million times. I mean, I love it. I, I think this dress is from, okay, this is from Lanre de Silva. Like, you're so beautiful. Everybody wants to style you. I mean, Cece, 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 take time. You are slaying too much. I know I'm missing out so many looks. But let me just go down to my last two favorites. My last two favorites. So, in life, you have to try and keep it simple. But when you keep it simple, and you're not trying to do too much, but still be chic, and still be on point, and still just look like there's still an off to your dress then you are made for this you are made for fashion 
roommate for it and this is no other than Rita Dominic I screamed on my Instagram stories when I saw Rita Dominic I had to ex I had to share my expression to the world now this color is perfect for her skin I don't even know but it's perfect I love the little detail on the top of the off shoulder it's very pretty I love her makeup her skin was just glowing the smoky eye was perfect for this look. I think her makeup artist was um, Doreen Beauty. She killed it. Doreen killed it. She motherfucking killed it. She killed it. And then the hair, the center pattern, the center part's hair was perfect for this look. It was really gorgeous. Her hair person really, really slayed this hair for her. Like it was beautiful. I love her little purse. You know, everything just looked simple. There was nothing so, there was nothing extra about this look, but I feel like everything came together from the hair to the makeup, to the dress, to her accessories. Everything just came together. I mean, Rita Dominic has been slain since 1900 drum roll to the best dress of the evening stephanie Puka was just like she just came and she just decided i think I, I don't even know what's wrong with that girl i don't know why she's like this it's not fair it's not fair in life like you're not even an actor what do you not even act film you don't act film like you're just here giving us life and slaying like i love the material of this dress I love the sequin like this is how you do sequin that is not aba ish but like it still looks lovely I really love it and it was photographed nicely as usual on point I love the red lipstick the shade of red is fantastic it really goes with that light nice it really goes with the strip of red that you can see on her jacket and also on the pocket of her jacket as well I love 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 the makeup her skin was glowing Laefa beauty did a beautiful job that girl has magic fingers she has magic fingers but yeah it was beautiful i love the dress it was pretty very pretty dress very pretty outfits very pretty outfits i love it she she, she slayed she's like the best dress not like for me she's the best dressed person at the AMVCAs, she's the best dressed person at the AMVCAs. No jokes, no competition, no need to argue. Go home, it's enough. We're done. I, I, I removed my wig for you. Like, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's like the detail on the outfit, and I love her makeup. She was looking all bronzed up and really nice. Makeup artist did a lovely job for her hair. She almost looked like she forgot her wig. It was just almost like, okay, she got into the car and realized, oops, I left my wig in the house. I'm like, okay, why? Like, she looked like, like there was one picture that she looked like Toke Makinwa and, you know, with the five head and everything. I love five head girls. Like, I love, I love that. But the hair, it almost looked like, like, girl, where are your edges? Like, space here, space here, hair here, space here. I mean, like, if she had if she wanted to do a ponytail like a slick look then she probably would have worn like a frontal and you know just done an updo it would have looked much better like a ponytail like a really slick ponytail with the frontal or something even if you're trying to rock that natural girl look we get that but like it's not popping like this shit ain't popping this shit is not popping it's not it's just you look you just look like rodents went through your hair and you know dismantled it i'm like no it killed it for me because it should have easily gotten like a 10 out of a 10 that is it for my review if you guys have your best dress please feel free to share them on the comment section down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe you might like me eventually and if you and if you want to get notifications as to when I post a video, please click the bell button down below as well. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye bye.